Hey friends, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. Oh, do you like my shirt? I just released them. I have these available for both men and women, and I also have shirts that say stronger as a vegan. <laughs> I'll link those in the description box below. You guys can get them on my website. Boom, boom. Anywho, the purpose of this video today, guys, is I'm going to show you my Dutch oven high protein vegan bread, and it is wonderful. If you guys don't know what Dutch oven bread is, imagine that like that round bread that's like hard. <laughs> that's me knocking at the top of the bread. Um, the crust is hard and the inside is moist and softer. Um, so that's what I'm going to um, show you today, guys. I'm going to start by talk, telling you what the ingredients are and then I'm going to put it together and we'll just go from there. By the way guys, let me know, is there any particular food you want me to try to make that's either vegan or high protein? Let me know, put it in the description box below. I'd love to see your guys' ideas um, because I'd love to cook them for you. I'll try to make my own version and, and give you that recipe. Anywho, Dutch oven bread, here we go. First and foremost, we've got regular flour, 1.75 cups. We've got soy protein powder. This is from nuts.com, one cup. I used to get this from a grocery store, but they actually discontinued it. So I, I buy my, a lot of my stuff from nuts.com. I'll put that in the description box below as well. Um, I've got wheat gluten. You can also buy this from nuts.com, but I get this um, bulk from the grocery store. Wheat gluten is 0.75 cups, 3 fourths cup, 0.75 cups. And then two teaspoons of regular plain old salt. Active dry yeast, 2.5 teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons. I've got coconut brown sugar at home. You could use regular sugar, any other sugar that you want, just as long as it's real sugar. Uh, two teaspoons of sugar. And I calculated in this recipe three grams of oil just because I actually just use it to spritz the parchment paper to make sure it doesn't stick. But three grams of oil. And I've got two and a half cups of water heating up to 120 degrees. The yeast needs a particular temperature to um, to start working. It needs water, warm water, and sugar to start working to make the dough rise. Normally yeast, the normal way that people use yeast is they put the yeast in the water with, with some sugar and let that activate. But for the sake of making this recipe even more simple, I'm going to put all the dry ingredients together and at a little bit higher temperature at 120 degrees for that water, I'm going to add that into the dry ingredients because there's more volume with the dry ingredients. The, the temperature of the water is naturally going to go down. I hope that makes sense. I just rambled. Okay, I'm going to put these together and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, and by the way, I am uh, going to um, verify the temperature of my water using this uh, thermometer. All right, friends, so I have all of my dry ingredients mixed into this bowl or put into this bowl. I'm going to mix it. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it first to get make sure that all the dry ingredients are good mixed together and then I'm gonna add in the water. So let me just get my trusty old spatula. Especially make sure you get the bottom of that bowl. Now I am going to get my water and just pour it in here. This dough is going to be a little bit wet, and at some point you're going to have to put that spatula down. And ooh, it's already looking so good. Uh, you're going to have to put that spatula down and use your hands. So make sure you've washed your hand. Make sure you've washed your hands beforehand. <laughs> Nobody wants dirty hands in their bed. You guys see just how much it kind of just scrapes off the sides pretty easily. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice, my friends. It's 
so right now you can see it's pretty sticky maybe we should have just done two cups of water but not to worry if ever you're in a bind like this all you have to do just add a little bit more flour. That's probably a couple tablespoons of flour that I'm just dusting in. And work that in. Because you want it to be too you want it to be sticky but not too sticky. So that's actually a lot stickier than the last time I did this um, and it there could be so many reasons it could be the uh, humidity in the air blah 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 so many things that makes poor dough so sensitive so anywho what I'd recommend instead guys instead of starting out with two and a half cups of water start out with two cups of water and just pour in as you need but I'm gonna work with this guy and let's just see how it goes you never know it might be delicious it might be horrible either way I'm gonna eat it because I don't want to be screwed so what I have now guys is I've got a clean bowl and I misspoke earlier the um, well on top of using oil on the parchment paper what you do as well guys is um, you take a, another bowl and you spray that bowl with oil just spread it out just spread it out like so you are going to I'd recommend spraying your hand as well if your dough is sticky like mine. Spray your hand a little bit. Take, take your dough out. Let me see. This is some ninja work trying to get to show you how the dough comes out of the bowl. So this is what the dough, my dough is going to look like. Again, it's a bit sticky. By the way, <laughs> the dough by itself is pretty yummy. I'm going to just sit that baby there. Let the baby have a rest. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the top of the, the dough. And with damp cloths, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole thing. Damp cloths. Don't mind the wipe, that's me wiping my hand off with flour on it. And my oven, you can put this in the cupboard in the an oven that's turned off in your microwave that's off and just let it sit and rest I am going to run my errands for the day um, I'm gonna let this what's called proof um, for so the time I run my errands at least a couple of hours if you're in a rush you can wait only 45 minutes but I'd say give some time to rest again guys remember this is how big it is right now let's see how much this puppy rests after it takes a nap I want to take a two-hour nap Anywho. oven that is not on. It's just going to sit there and take a nap. That's it for now. I'm going to get my gains up. I'm going to get my gains up. I'll be back at my gains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stop <laughs> Alright guys, it's been about two hours. What? What? What is this? two hours <laughs> and the dough has just been sitting in the oven um, just proofing and the oven is off so I'm excited to see I haven't I haven't cheated I haven't looked before I started recording just to see how much this baby has grown look at this puppy I don't know why I'm acting like it's hot look can you even see him it's been proofing above the above the level of the bowl what? <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so so now what we're gonna do, my hands are clean. Oh, by the way, do you like this one? This is the other shit I was talking about. Stronger as a vegan. I think you should have one. And I think you should have an eat, laugh, lift shirt because who doesn't want to be stronger as a vegan? And who doesn't want to eat, laugh, and lift? <laughs> Anyways, dough, super proofed. And let's see, remember it was pretty sticky last time? You can see it's actually not sticky anymore. It's not sticking to my fingers. 
amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna punch this down just a little bit. And fold it in. Punch it, fold it, punch it in the middle. Fold it, punch it in the middle. Fold it, punch it in the middle. Can you, can you hear my puppy? She's ringing her bell. She needs to go. I'm going to bring her after this. <laughs> All right, fold it, punch it in the middle. You guys will feel as you're doing this that the dough actually gets tougher and tougher, which is a good thing. Okay, so take the bottom and just kind of roll it into itself. You're gonna have this guy. Go ahead and sit it back down again. Spray the top with a little bit more oil. And let it rest. Let it, <laughs> professional camera angles here. <laughs> Let it rest for another maybe 10 minutes. It's not bad if you let it rest for another hour, two hours, or whatever. Um, but I'm getting impatient, so I'm just gonna let it rest over here for about another 10 minutes. And while you're doing that, start preheating your oven to 450 degrees so you can cook these puppies for 30 minutes. Oh, and if you split the spread up into 10 servings, I'm really just squatting in an awkward angle. Um, to 10 servings, it is 13.6 grams of protein, 8.5 grams of carbs, and a one gram of fat. Mm. So anyways, I've got my oven now preheating to 450. I'm going to go let that rest. I'm going to take my puppy out for a quick walk, and then I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. I'll show you guys how I prep it for the oven. Okay, so it's been about 10-15 minutes. Here it is. It's kind of risen just a little bit again. So what I'm going to do guys now is I'm just going to roll it in under itself again, spread it out just a little bit, and I'm going to put it in this ceramic pot thing that I lined with parchment paper and I also spritz a little bit with olive oil. I'm just going to plop that in there just like this. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm actually gonna snip the top of it just so that it creates some nice texture. Ta -da. This is what's why it's called a Dutch oven, because you cook it in this thing. All right, my oven has preheated to 450. It was already heated. It was, already, it was already preheated and it's warming up again, so I'm just going to wait until that light goes off, meaning that the oven is ready, and I'm going to pop it in for 30 minutes. Okay, oven is ready. I've got my rack in the middle. I'm going to take this baby, I'm going to put it right inside. Alright guys, so it's been about 30 minutes, and I have a feeling that it's going to need maybe another 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna check it out. What I failed to tell you guys too is make sure that you have your ceramic pot preheated in the oven while you're preheating the actual oven. So as you can start with the lid, as you can see, here's the bread already. Yeah, I'm gonna give it about another 30 minutes and just um, let it keep cooking. I like when I cook this bread. I like the top part crunchy. So you guys can always choose to not cook it as long but just make sure that the inside is cooked through. And because you're using protein powders as well and not just uh, wheat flour, it does cook, take a little bit longer to cook. So I'm gonna cook it for, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna cook it for probably 30 more minutes, check in between and I'll tell you guys what the total time is. All right, friends, so it's been a total of an hour. Um, I did for the last 15 minutes take the top off and let it cook in the oven. Let's go ahead and see how this puppy looks. Not Ooh la la, hot mother sucker. Okay, okay. You guys see It's looking glorious. 
so be careful guys this is super super hot let me show you and that my friends is a dutch vegan dutch oven vegan protein bread so here's the tricky part guys you're gonna want to very carefully try to take it out of the pot without burning yourself and put it on a cool rack and just let it cool for or so many to see the long beer thing like we had drinking. I would suggest use a bit, use a spatula, and just scoop it out so you absolutely don't touch the pot. Or if your parchment paper is strong enough, but this is a problem with my parchment paper. It's still very hot guys so make sure to take a clean towel and use it as you're slicing to hold the bread. The easiest thing to cut a bread with is a serrated knife. Normally called a bread knife, huh? Let's hear let's see if you guys can hear the crunch. as it cools down. Um, also, I tend to twist my bread before I eat it anyway, so I don't really care, but I still recommend that you guys start with two cups of water and then add as you need. Mm. So, the outside is crunchy. You see that? guys well I hope you try it out and I hope you like it remember guys if there's a food that you want me to make in a vegan version or a high protein version just let me know put it in the comments below I am happy to try it I love having adventures with making food that's kind of the thing that gets my heart happy um, <laughs> anyways guys I hope you do try it out this protein bread is freaking phenomenal um, okay if you guys want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding every time this baby gorilla posts a video. And if you guys aren't already following me on social, you probably should. Ding, ding. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, oh, yeah. And if you do want any of these shirts, the link in the description box. I'd love to see, you, see it on you guys. Um, tag me on your posts if you do, if you do get one. Because you should have. Alright guys, have a great day. See ya. Oh wait. <laughs> Again, if you want to see the recipe, that link is in the description box too. Follow along on my site. Bye guys.